Hey guys, and welcome to another episode. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a wink bar on your car. So this right here is basically a really huge mirror that I'm gonna be installing on the inside of the Mini and it's gonna be replacing the regular small one that came on the car. So the point of this is it's gonna allow me to basically not have any blind spots and I'm gonna see everything that's behind me. So the way that this mounts up is you take out the regular sun visors that come in the car and then where those holes are, you're gonna mount this right up to. So it's gonna go from the driver's side all the way to the passenger side. If we move to inside the Mini, you'll be able to note that we removed the driver's side vanity mirror found up top and the same thing for the passenger side. So there's a little connector right here that supplies power to the light for the mirror. If your car doesn't have one, you don't have to worry about this connector, but if you do, just know that this needs to be removed before taking the mirror off. There's gonna be a little cover like this black piece that needs to be taken off from here, and you're gonna be able to see that there's two Phillips screws underneath that you need to take out. So I already took the entire thing out and put those screws back in just to show you what's there. And you're gonna have to do that for the passenger side along with the driver's side. So once you have them out, you can put these back in and all that you need is the spot here and here for a wink mirror to go in. So this is what the mirror looks like. We've got an adjuster hinge right here. We have our bracket that's gonna mount up to the car. We have the wink mirror itself. We go all the way over and we have the exact same thing on this side. So whenever you're ready, basically just align this however you want. So I took out one of the Phillips screws that was in place right there, and that's where I'm gonna be mounting up this little L bracket so the wink mirror will be mounted in place. So just align it as to however you want it. Grab that little Phillips screw that we took out before. And if you just put it in hand tight, this side is gonna be in. We can tighten that up in a second. Everything that you do here on the passenger side, you have to replicate for the driver's side. So whenever you have it just mounted in place and it's in there, grab either an impact driver or a screwdriver and just drill this into place. Now I'm probably gonna have to take the wink mirror out by removing this knob and doing the exact same thing on the driver's side because I'm eventually gonna wanna move this up and down as I please. So I don't really need a huge gap on the top you want to have this basically as high as you can so you can see more stuff on the road, but as low as necessary so you can get the angle that you want. So whenever you're ready, you can just bring this up or down as to whatever height you want, tilt it, angle it so you can see everything behind you. And then whenever you're ready, just turn these little dials on the side clockwise so you're going to tighten them. And then at this point, you're good to go. Now if you want, you can go ahead and remove the existing mirror that came with the car. It's not necessary. If it's in the way, definitely move it so you can install the wink mirror. But I mean, otherwise, you can angle it there as well so you have extra stuff you can see. It's entirely up to you. With the wink mirror installed, if you just look straight up through here, you can see through the driver's side, the driver's side front window. You can see all through the rear window. And if you look over, you can also see the rear two windows as well on the drive on the uh, passenger side rather. So you can see through this window and this one by just looking through this wink mirror. And if you can see right there, this is the wink mirror that we installed and that's our standard mirror. So they both kind of work together at the same time. So if you want, you can keep both of them in. You can leave the wink mirror installed along with the stock one if it's not going to be in the way. Now, depending on the size of your car, you're gonna have to get an appropriate sized wink mirror. So what I did is I measured up the distance between the left part of the driver's side vanity mirror and the outer part of the passenger side. I measured what that distance was and found a wink mirror that's very close. Because you can turn the L brackets around, you're gonna compensate for an inch or two both ways. If you guys wanna pick up this wink mirror or other ones that are similar to this but different sizes, check the description box, I'll have links to everything. If you guys have any questions regarding the installation for the mirror or any other questions for that matter, let me know, throw them down in the comment section below and I'd be more than happy to help. Again guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.